What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost and we have heard so much from so many different sources in regards to what happened on the set of Rust. We have heard from the police. We've heard from the district attorney. We've heard from sources on the scene. We've seen affidavits. We've heard the armorer, the 24-year-old inexperienced armorer, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, defend herself through her lawyers, give her side of the story, try to shift the blame onto everyone else. We've seen Alec Baldwin, not only in his statements in social media, but also, in person, try to play the victim and shift blame onto everything else. The last person that was really truly involved in this we hadn't heard from was the assistant director. The assistant director who, according to some r reports early on, was the one that handed the gun to Alec Baldwin. He is finally speaking out and breaking his silence as a lot of people, media members, Alec Baldwin himself, have tried to place some of the blame on him. And I've been clear, I think there's a lot of blame to go around in this case. But now, Dave Halls is making his voice heard, at least through his lawyers. Rust assistant director breaks his silence over Alec Baldwin fatal shooting. The assistant director for the Western flick Rust is speaking out for the first time since the onset shooting death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins, calling on the movie industry to, quote, reevaluate its values after the fatal gaffe. And that's something I've seen is common uh, with basically everyone speaking out there like, as an industry, we really need to reevaluate safety and gun safety. It's like, there hasn't been an accident in nearly 30 years, but you guys weren't following any of the rules that you were supposed to. That is a major part of the problem. However, Dave Halls did not address details of the incident or respond to the previous reports that he is the one who handed the, quote, hot gun used in the deadly shooting to Alec Baldwin. Helena Hutchins was not just one of the most talented people I've worked with, but also a friend, Halls said in a statement. I'm shocked and saddened by her death. It's my hope that this tragedy prompts the industry to reevaluate its values and practices to ensure no one is harmed through the creative process again. Well, that already happened. You got to abide by all those things. You actually have to do your due diligence. You have to have safety in mind. That's obviously not something that was important to you or to the armor or to Alec Baldwin. Quite clearly, nobody took it as seriously as they should have been. Halls added that he's been overwhelmed by the love and support and my thoughts are with all who knew and loved Helena. The October 21st shooting in a New Mexico movie set killed Hutchins, 42-year-old mom, and wounded the film's director, Joel Souza. Santa Fe County Sheriff Alan Mendoza said they're still trying to determine how live rounds got on the set. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder if all those reports that are coming out about why it's on there, oh, they must just be fake. Those must just be fake news, even though so many people have come out with the same exact thing. So many different sources. But they want to pretend like they don't know how this live ammo got on set. According to search warrants released by authorities, three people handled the gun before the shooting. Baldwin, Halls, and the 24-year-old armor Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, who is working on only her second film as armor. Another big problem. Susan told police safety protocols called for the armor to hand the weapon to the AD, who's supposed to check to ensure no live rounds before handing it to the actor. Halls had told the police... He couldn't recall how thoroughly he checked the weapon. That's not the best statement to make to the police. Uh, I mean, if it's honest, I mean, you know, you should be honest, right? Maybe it is an honest statement. However, in retrospect, it doesn't look great for him. David advised when Hannah showed him the firearm before continuing rehearsal, he could only remember seeing three rounds. He advised he should have checked all of them, but didn't, and couldn't recall if she spun the drum to see all the ammo, obviously. Still, an insider told the Post two staffers had set uh, on set told investigators they never saw Halls remove the gun from the armorer's cart during an investigation. The witnesses also denied that he was the one that called the gun cold before giving it to Baldwin. According to the affidavits, the gun was one of three on the armorer's cart before it was handed to Baldwin, rehearsing some scene where he pointed the gun at a camera inside the church set. So, the idea that... Now we have some people saying that something very contrary to everything else we've heard about him announcing cold gun, about Halls being the one that handed it to him. So, and he didn't clarify. Halls did not clarify about anything in that statement. He simply came out and said, ah, listen, I feel bad for the family. We need to really look at the industry after all this has happened. But he really didn't uh, address some of those things that people obviously want to know. And from my standpoint, I want more information. I want him to say all these things. From a legal standpoint, I 1000% agree with what his lawyers are telling him is that he probably should not do those things. Everyone is going to be skating around things. Everyone is going to be able to or want to try to pass the blame. 
of course, because this is something that you do not want pinned on you. So the assistant director finally breaking his silence after so many people have already tried to place the blame squarely on his shoulders. What do you think about this? How much blame do you think he deserves or Alec or the armor? Let me know in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.